Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and this is actually kind of different. This is a beauty channel, but one of my other huge passions in life is traveling. So I recently took a pretty big trip. I went to India on vacation and I know that I just love reading travel blogs and when I'm getting ready for a trip, learning as much as I can to get ready for it. So one of the things that I was really into was making sure that I packed all the things I needed to be prepared on the trip as well as to make sure I'd adhere by the local cultures and everything. Um, and it was um, a lot of research I did and I thought this might be helpful to somebody if you're going to India or if you're going to somewhere similar um, overseas. And I'm going to show you what I packed. I actually went on the trip. So I thought it would be a good idea to show you what I packed that I actually used and needed. So I went to India actually on a tour group. Um, so if you're going backpacking, it's probably going to be different. Um, you probably want to pack less than I did, but um, I went in April, uh, mid-April, so it was very, very hot, and I went with a tour group. So we were able to bring one checked luggage each and a carry-on. and. Um, I think I pretty packed pretty well, um, especially for the weather and like the things that we did. So I'm just going to show you what I did. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments below or suggestions, share them as well. So um, the first thing I'm going to show you are the clothes that I packed. So the first thing I want to show you is this awesome clothing. It's kind of like a space travel bag. This is by Flight 001. It's really cool because you can fit like two weeks of clothes in this bag. And you don't have to roll them. It automatically kind of compresses when you like squeeze the air out of it. But the cool thing is on one side you have clean, clean, and then the other side is another zipper where it has dirty or it says laundry. So this is really convenient because that way when your clothes get dirty you can just throw them on the other side and zip them up and you don't have to worry about that. I also always recommend having a whole bunch of just empty grocery bags, just big bags in case you want to throw dirty clothes or shoes or anything like that to keep them clean. So let's go ahead and show you what I packed for this trip. Um, so it was very, very hot, but in India, um, as a woman, culturally, you're not supposed to show that much skin. I think the general rule is don't show your shoulders. Um, so like no skimpy tank tops or anything and don't show your knees and up. So basically I avoided tank tops and shorts or short skirts or anything like that. So I kept that in mind because I wanted to, you know, not offend anybody. It was also very hot so you want things that are going to be weather appropriate, cottons, linens, things like that. So um, I packed a pair of capri pants because I, I didn't want to have some kind of a short option. So I packed a pair that was a cotton pair. These are blue, like so I, they're kind of my alternative to jeans. So just a pair of black, um, of navy capri pants. So I packed those. I have actually a pair, a pair of yoga pants, which are very much like what I saw them selling in the market. Um, they are so comfortable and they're just like harem pants. Um, I got these on harempants.com and I thought they were so comfortable and you don't have to pack these but I'm just kind of showing you. Everybody thought I bought them there. Um, I also bought some linen pants. So linen is really great for hot weather. These are linen joggers which I think is really cool because it makes them a little bit more modern. And the fact that it comes to like a more of a like cuff at the bottom, they won't drag on the ground. So these are from INC and they're really, really comfortable. Drawstring waist, super loose and they are really good in the warm weather. So anything linen is really great. I also packed one of these kind of convertible travel pants which a lot of people use for like hiking and stuff. I didn't think these were as helpful as I thought they would be. This is what definitely good if you though, if you don't want to pack a lot because they change, they unzip into shorts which I wouldn't really wear shorts there but this kind of pant is good in general just for any travels. I think this would be really good for if you're doing any hiking or a lot of trekking because they are really lightweight, they don't show dirt, um, and they um, resist like sweat and all that stuff. Like I said, these are like, these are by the brand REI, they're convertible pants. And um, if I had gone um, like on a hike or something like that, this would have been probably better, but I didn't wear these as much as I thought I would. Um, so that's, and then the, oh, the other bombs I bought, which I think are really great for India, are um, some of these kind of jogger pants that are like in patterns and they're just like loose and cottony. 
they're very comfortable, they don't show dirt, um, lightweight, and these are kind of in style now, like there, a lot of brands have these kind of just like jogger pants in different patterns, so I found that I wore these and they were super comfortable and good for like our long bus rides. I had those in a pattern and in black. So um, if I could, I probably wouldn't have packed those gray pants if I could take it back. But I found that these really worked great for me and they were also very comfortable for the 15 hour plane ride. So those are the bottoms. Now for the tops, I'm gonna show you what I packed. So I have here a little denim shirt. Um, this is just one of those kind of um, essential denim chambray tops which you can just throw on to cover your shoulders. It goes with anything because it's denim. Very lightweight, great for the plane or the bus if it gets a little cool. Because you definitely want something that you can kind of layer with so you can take it off if it gets too hot, put it on if it gets cold. Um, I also have just a little black hoodie. I wore it if it was getting chilly on the bus. And it's very lightweight also for the plane ride. This is another um, travel shirt um, by the brand Columbia. So this is cool because it's just like a white button up, but it's got a, got a vented back. It's got vents in here and it's supposed to um, also be really good for hot weather because it doesn't, um, it repels and dries quickly for sweat. And it's just kind of like one of those um, good tops that's lightweight and it covers your arms because if it is hot you don't want to have too much skin exposed because it will burn. So this is one of those kind of great travel, another travel kind of clothing options. So I did wear that. And then, in general, I just had a whole bunch of just cotton shirts. Good, breathable cotton. Um, here's like a Nike anti-wicking, just a short sleeve shirt. Again, I stuck with sleeves just because I didn't want to show too much skin. I have a black shirt. Just basic colors that you can kind of change in and out. You don't want... You kind of want to stick with simple things so you can mix them and match them. Just a, a gray, um, a gray t-shirt and a white t-shirt. And then I have um, a black tank top and I also had a white tank top just kind of to layer underneath. And then you also want to bring scarves, at least one, just because they come in handy if you want to cover your shoulders if you go to a temple. Um, and you can even wrap it around your legs if you aren't wearing sh um, pants. So a scarf is really good to have. And I like to use a scarf too when I'm on, on the plane as like a blanket. So, and then I also brought a hat because it was really hot. So just like a little, you know, fedora type thing. A little Panama kind of style hat. So I did wear that. And this is a hat that my husband wore. Just like one of those you know, kind of things, which is good to cover your head. I definitely recommend bringing a hat because it was really, really hot. So that's it for clothes, um, except for, you know, underwear, sh socks, bras, that kind of stuff. So that's it for clothes. Um, let's move on to what I packed on my carry-on. So I always bring a backpack with me when I travel. This backpack has been to like 20 countries. It's just like a regular Jan Sport backpack. This is what I bring on a plane. I like it because I can always fit it under the seat. It's small enough. It also goes on my back so it can be hands-free and um, it's just very convenient for me as a, as a, um, as a travel on or hand carry. So the first thing that you definitely want to bring are all your papers and your documents. Um, I have, have in here my printouts, um, travel itineraries. You also want to make sure you have your, your visa, information, all that stuff for India, because for India you do need a travel visa. So I have like my Delta in here, my tour uh, my tour guide stuff, all that. I also like to bring um, envelopes and just like some, some notepads, just if you're making notes or if you need to give somebody a tip in an envelope. Um, one thing that I definitely recommend for India, and this kind of is what I would bring in my, in a purse. So I have right here, this is the purse I wore when I was in India. Definitely recommend um, like an over the shoulder kind of purse so that way you can be hands free and you can kind of protect it against your body. You don't want to have like, like one of those bags that goes right in the crook of your arm because it, you want to make sure that it's secure on your body and you can like use your hands. So this is just a basic little um, army green bag. But um, I always recommend 
bringing a lot of travel tissues with you wherever you go because in India they don't always have toilet paper in the bathrooms um, or napkins available to wash your dry your hands so tissues are very very helpful um, I also have in here sunglasses as well as my eyeglasses I always put my eyeglasses in my carry-on because um, I might want to take because I wear contacts but I might need them on that long flight um, again I have a scarf that I keep always in my carry-on I have an umbrella so I actually this is a UV umbrella and it might kind of sound dorky but it's, it gets really really hot and it definitely helps to have an umbrella when you're walking in the open sun it takes away like the heat and it really cools you down dramatically and a couple people on the tour were using umbrellas and I definitely recommend that for hot weather conditions this came in really, really handy. Um, my husband and I had these little water bags and they have little clips on them, little carabiners. So these are good to just hook on your bags. And we use, we filled our water bottles and put them in here. Because water bottles can be bulky, you always have to hold them. These you could just clip to your, to even your belt buckle. So I really like these. Um, I, I will definitely be using those for my next trip. And they're very cheap. I got like them at the dollar store. Um, something I always bring in my carry-on is a luggage weight. So you just hook this to your luggage and you lift it. And that way when um, I know if I'm going to go over, because I don't ever want to pay um, excess luggage fees. So I always weigh my luggage, so I always keep that with me. Make sure you bring pens. I always bring a Sharpie just in case. Something that I kind of wish I had brought, which I didn't, is duct tape because duct tape just comes in handy. So in my backpack I have um, antacid like tummy medicine as well as airborne. So on the plane and traveling in general you always want to be having your vitamins to keep your immune system up. And then, So despite even having all of the stomach medicines, my husband and I still got deli belly which is um, uh, we had bad stomach issues at the end of our trip but it's always good to have stomach medicine with you because you just never know how your, your digestive system is going to react to different foods. So I always recommend to have like some kind of airborne and stomach medicine on your carry-on as well as any other medicines prescriptions that you need. And then I have, um, I have my little liquid bag, my quart size. I just put some things that I always use in here, like I have hand lotion, lip moisturizer, eye drops, allergy medication. I also pack like sleep aid pills because I like to um, take those when I'm on the plane to make sure I go to sleep. Um, travel Lysol. I actually bought, um, this is eucalyptus oil. Um, on a blog, I, rec I heard that people recommend packing peppermint oil because it's just good for so many things. If it's kind of stinky, you can smell the oil. If you kind of get an itch, um, it's good for like helping with dry skin, like a whole bunch of remedies. But I, I would have got peppermint oil, but they ran out, so I got eucalyptus oil. But you should look into that. It's pretty cool. So just whatever you want to put in your little quart bag. Hand sanitizer, for sure. So I always just kind of keep the same one pack for travel, I like to have my separate travel stuff already ready to go so that way I don't have to repack it every time. And then this is my little plain travel case. This is, um, you go, I got this on my honeymoon um, on first class for Delta, but basically it has everything I need when I'm on the plane, including earbuds, definitely a sleep mask. I love wearing a sleep mask on a plane because it helps me sleep, blocks out the light. I definitely recommend earplugs and then a phone charger and again it has like lip moisturizer, a toothbrush, toothpaste and um, stuff like that. So I always bring this with me on a plane. It stays packed so that way I'm ready to go. I use all this stuff on a plane all the time. So that goes in my carry-on as well. And the last thing that goes in my carry-on is snacks. Um, I always say pack some granola bars, protein bars, and then um, I also like to bring little face masks. Um, so when you're on the plane, you can give yourself like, like a little facial, make sure your skin's nice and moisturized. So put in a Ziploc bag. Ziploc bags, in general, I always bring a whole bunch of those too, just to kind of carry things. So that is your carry-on. And then in my purse, I kind of put the same things in my purse when I walked around. Um, 
I also have here my passport holder. I really like this thing. This is where I put my passport, my plane tickets, um, so it's really quick and easy and I always can grab this and know that my passport is in it as well as like currency and money and stuff and a pen. And a pen always because you know you always have to fill out those immigration forms. So again, I have tissues, toilet paper to go, is, or just regular, have a little toilet paper tube in there. Pepto-Bismol, um, definitely recommend bringing some wet ones to clean your hands because again, there's not always soap in the bathroom. Tissues, um, pens, selfie stick. Here's my hand sanitizer. And um, I always have gum. And then I also, I, I started putting in a little mini shower gel that I got at the hotel in my purse because like I said, there wasn't always soap in the bathroom or if it was, it was kind of gross, so I didn't want to use it. And that's all I would carry in my purse. And then I would, I would clip my little water bottle to here as well. All right, so let's move on to the stuff that's on this couch. Um, this is something that my husband wore and as his a little backpack. Um, he would just keep like water in here and snacks when he was walking around. Just one of those little mini backpacks. So I like that to travel with. Um, this thing is really nifty. Um, I always keep it in my luggage for all my trips. This is one of those, um, this is like a foldable duffel bag. So it expands to 60 liters. So it's like this big. And that way, if you buy souvenirs, you can always just put it in this bag so you make sure you have room. And I just keep that for all my trips. I also have a guidebook. This is Lonely Planet for the cities that I've, some of the cities I visited in India. Again, another umbrella. And here, <laughs> this might seem excessive, but this has been a, a lifesaver. Um, I always pack medicines in here for um, trips. Um, some. It's just good to have if you're not feeling well and then you know what works on you because sometimes in international countries, I've tried the over-the-counter stuff and it hasn't really worked the same. So um, in here are some basic things to have. You can, let, you can Google um, what medicines they recommend bringing, but um, in general, I always have like a little first aid kit with Band-Aids, um, Imodium AD for stomachs. I always carry like emergency, um, headache medicine, allergy medication, cough drops, um, Alka-Seltzer, hydrocortisone cream, Neosporin, just like basic medicines that, and we definitely used some of this stuff while we were there, especially stomach stuff like Pepto, Imodium, we took all of that while we were there. So I always have it in my little bag ready to go for every single trip. So this also comes with me on my flight. This is a neck pillow. Oh my God, this is such a good one. It's called Evolution Pillow. I just got it for this trip and it's awesome. So if you're looking for a good neck pillow, it's called the Cabo C-A-B-A-U Evolution Pillow. And then this bag right here is just another kind of like sanitary bag. I have toilet seat covers to go, which I don't really use. I have more tissue paper, toilet tissue to go. Clorox wipes, wet ones, um, stuff like that. So, believe me, that toilet paper came in handy. Um, and here, this is where I keep all of my travel chargers. You make sure, gotta make sure to have your converter. Um, the India uses the same as the UK. It's like two little rounded knobs. Um, I always say to bring like some kind of like um, a surge protector with multiple sockets so that way you can charge as much things as you need. So all your chargers, just put them together. Um, and here I have bug spray and sunscreen. Definitely need bug spray and sunscreen because there were a lot of mosquitoes and it was very hot. So I keep that together and like, we would just throw this in my husband's backpack just to have. And then here I have just some random stuff um, for breeze to go. I have little mini um, detergent, laundry detergent. Um, as well as like a little mini clothesline and a drain stopper. It came as a pack that I got on Amazon. So that way, you know, you don't have to bring so many clothes. You can just kind of wash stuff if you have time to have it dry in the hotel. Um, I have in here bug, bug spray, bug it, in itchy skin relief kind of stuff. Again, I like to keep things organized in their little containers. I have in here travel washcloths and bar soap. 
I noticed I stayed in some very, very nice hotels, but nobody had washcloths, which is what I usually use. So if you need that, bring it or like a, like a loofah sponge type thing. But they, but I'm glad I brought it because they did not have washcloths at the hotels. Um, this is my travel toiletry bag that I bring on every single trip. I love it so much because it's flat and it hangs. So I just literally will, like, will hang it in the bathroom. So just pack whatever toiletries you need. Um, this stays packed, ready to go for every single trip. Makes it so much more convenient than trying to repack your own big toiletry. Just have your separate toiletry bag ready to go. So that lays flat and nice and organized. In here I have um, my hair supplies. So um, I was my hair care was very minimal while I was there, but I just have like a hairbrush, hair ties, headbands, um, just kind of whatever like products you use this is like leave-in conditioner, dry shampoo, bobby pins. I didn't use any hot tools while I was there except for the hotel blow dryer. It's not, it wasn't even worth it. Um, I had brought a flat iron. It wasn't even worth it. It was too hot to even mess with that stuff. Um, shoes. So I didn't really wear that many shoes as I thought I would. Um, I was kind of minimal. I always bring sneakers. Here's my sneakers in, the, in a little bag because um, I try to work out while I'm at the hotel gym as well as to walk around because you need comfortable shoes. But in terms of the other shoes that I brought, I actually ended up wearing my Toms a lot because they're just slip-on, easy breezy. Um, you want to have good slip-on shoes because you do visit a lot of temples and religious sites where you're required to take your shoes off or buy shoe covers. So it helps to have shoes that you can kind of um, pull on and off quickly. And, and I, I also have flip-flops, always flip-flops, just in case you want to wear them in the shower as well as I, will, I wore these walking around as well. And then I also bought a pair of cuter sandals just to have in case I planned on going somewhere at night. That was it. I did not bring any heels. It was not worth it. Okay, again, Ziploc bags. And then here, I wanted to show you what makeup I packed. This is not what I packed on the trip, but this is for my another trip I'm have coming up soon. So I didn't wear that much makeup while I was there, but I am a makeup girl. So I'll show you what I did. So pretty much, I used two makeup brushes while I was there the whole time. This is my um, a face brush and one eyeshadow brush. That was all I used because the makeup was very, very minimal. Um, and then for my actual makeup, I kept it really simple. You don't even have to wear makeup, but if you do, what I did is I just did a powder foundation because it was easy breezy. I just took this brush right here, a little bit of coverage there. I always do my brows um, because it's, you know, it's one of those things where it makes you, it kind of changes your face. So I brought a brow pencil. So I have my foundation powder brow pencil. I brought this palette, which was very convenient because it has blush and eyeshadow and neutrals. So I wore the blush with the same brush that I used for my foundation. And then sometimes I did wear a little bit of neutral eyeshadow on the lid. So like a brown and that was it. And then I brought a very good waterproof eyeliner in black and brown. This is Aqua XL from Make It Forever, their new eyeliners. This stuff actually really worked in the Indian heat. I was surprised, I was kind of testing it out. I usually just wear a little eyeliner, a black eyeliner on the top and brown eyeliner on my lower lash line. I didn't even wear mascara because I wasn't even bothering. And then I did a little, sometimes I would do a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes because I wasn't really sleeping well. And then I did a makeup setting spray just to kind of like set everything in the heat. And then that was it. I didn't even I didn't even wear anything but like a clear lip moisturizer. So I kept it very minimal. Um, you don't need to do a, a whole bunch in the heat. That was it. And then I just had the one um, carry on and the one check in, and I was good to go. So that was it for my India travel tips. Um, I do have a lot of um, like tips in general. Um, about traveling to different sites, um, my experience at the Taj Mahal. So if you have any specific questions about stuff to do in India or 
recommendations, let me know. So I hope you guys benefited from this video. This will be great for if you're traveling to India or anywhere kind of like overseas that's very hot and you just want to be prepared because it's like I'm OCD about packing. Everybody will tell you I love to be very organized and pack way in advance. So I hope this was helpful. I have more information on my blog at makeitbyrenren.com and until next time I hope you guys have a great night. Ciao Bellas!